Now, we all make sacrifices for different reasons, and it makes even a deeper meaning when the sacrifice isn't for oneself. So let's take a trip to Imo State for more details. the resurrection service and the New Year Mass held at the St. Peter's Basilica Vatican City in Rome, Chief and Mrs. Tony Chuku were the only Africans chosen to present the World Peace Offering to Pope Benedict XVI in 2013. They were also chosen to present the resurrection service of Blatter to Pope Francis in 2014. This is what inspired Chief Tony Chuku to build the beautiful St. Michael's Catholic Church in his hometown, Umweze 1, a Himembano local government area of Imo State. The church dedication attracted personalities from around the world, including the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as the guest of honor. The church filled to the brim with dignitaries, which included the wife of the Imo State Governor Nke Chingeri Rochas, Governor of Abia State and his wife Fyodor Oji, Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwemaju and his wife, Deputy Speaker House of Representatives Emeka Hihedioha, former INEC Chairman Maurice Siwo, former Governor of Imo State Ikedio Hakim, Senator Chris Anyao, Senator Hope Uzodimma, Senator Ifai Ararume, and former Minister of Interior Emmanuel Ihenacha and his wife, former Minister of Aviation Kema Chikwe, Minister of State for Education Viola Onwuliri, and many friends, family, and business associates from Europe and Russia. The procession signaled the commencement of the Mass, then the first Bible reading. You know that, that, that you are the temple of God. To the speak of God, definitely you. If anyone should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy that person. Because God's temple is holy. And you are that temple. This is the word of God. His Excellency Archbishop Augustine Kasuja, the Catholic Apostolic Nuncio to Nigeria, who delivered the sermon preached on sacrifice and spirit of giving. He commended Chief Chuku for his sacrifice in completing the beautiful church. We are all very grateful to the generous benefactor, Chief Chuku, and Lord without sacrifice. Patience Jonathan also commended the Tony Chuku's family for their benevolence and magnanimity to the church and the people. We are today setting aside this place as a house of hope 
for worship and a place of refuge for those in need spiritually. I thank God for this church building, which I believe will bring people in constant touch with God Almighty. The presentation of the church keys followed. Shortly after, guests were hosted to a grand reception. <laughs> Chief Tony Chuku is an engineer, businessman, and a politician. Metrophile, we celebrate life in different ways. Now let's see how friends, family, and others celebrated the life and times of the late Ogyasoba and Ima of Benin Kingdom. It wasn't the usual Christian wake. Held in a well-decorated hall in Oniro part of the Leki Peninsula, Lagos, the Christian wake for late chief Tayo Apata. Welcoming family, friends, and important guests was also different. asked for this occasion just he had been terminally ill and he had planned his funeral and one of the things he wanted was this occasion a memorial the guest list includes close friends of late chief Tayo Afata such as Alhaji Femi Okunu Philip Asiodu and Mr. Bode Emmanuel others are Otoba Adekunle Ojora and Erelu Ojolape Ojora Chief Mrs. Nike Akonde and other guests In the citation read by Mrs. Ajumogobia, Chief Tayo Apata had many firsts. At various times between 1957 and 1959, he held the following positions. Secretary, United Nations Students Association, University of Hull. Secretary, Overseas Student League, University of Hull. Delegate to the annual conference of the National Union of Students, England and Wales. Senior member, Debate Union, University of Hull. President, Labour Union, University of Hull. Vice President, West Africa Students Union, WASU, WASU Delegate, Fifth World Youth Congress, Moscow, USSR, WASU Delegate, Democratic Youths Against Colonialism, Prague, Czechoslovakia, and President, Nigerian Union of Great Britain and Ireland. It was a relaxed evening with plenty to eat and drink, but Chief Apata's friends had a lot to say about him. Tao was a nationalist to the core, and one of the things which impressed me about Tao was that he would come all over from Bob to attend the Central Executive Committee meeting 
of the Union in London. We mourn a great Nigerian patriot. We mourn a citizen of Africa. We mourn a world citizen. He believed in order. He believed in culture. You will never see him fully dressed in the Benin outfit eating in public. He never went there. Do that. From these remarks, Chief Akata will certainly be missed. Perhaps missed more by the family. To me, he was just a loving father. He had a big heart. He was a very close friend to his children, not just a father, very close. And he was my mentor. The night of tribute is a night that will not be forgotten. As a night, friends, family, and other well wishers in Lagos came to say good night to late Chief Tayo Apata. Well, we wish we had time for more, but there's much more to come next week, so make it a date. Remember, you can watch this edition or any edition of Metro File you wish to. Just go to our website, www.channelstv.com. You can also tweet at me at Anne underscore Goldfish. That's at A-N-N-E underscore Goldfish. Thank you so much for watching. I am Anne Wawadu.